Slow Simon here. Hope everybody is having a fabulous Wednesday. I know that I'm having a pretty good one. I'm getting shit done. Let's get shit done Wednesday. Anyway, um, something that I've been wanting to do is start bringing you guys a video every week and have it be different things every time. And today I decided it would be a good day to start that with a video haul. And basically, you know, I could be doing a plus size clothing haul, but I don't really have anything that I'm super excited to share right now aside from in review posts. Like, hopefully you guys checked out my Gigi review of that great poncho cape. Uh, I think it was Monday. And that was fabulous and it photographed so well. So obviously I wouldn't want to do a video with that. But, you know, it, it could happen. Anyway, I decided today I wanted to do an accessory haul. Because I recently went and spent a little bit of money at Rue 21, which is local here in Boise. But I think they have them all over. There's a website, rue21.com. And... I really like their accessories. I wish they carried plus size clothing. Rue 21, if you see this, carry plus size clothing. You have a market. They, you carry such cute stuff, and I really like your junior's department, but it would be really nice if you carried a plus size junior's department because Kirby Girls could probably even fit in that, which would be nice. Anyway, I digress. They have good accessories, and I like to shop there a lot because they have great accessories for great prices. And, like, this week, everything that I bought was, like, on sale. <laughs> like super sale it was either two or three dollars like it, there was this point where there's like an entire accessory wall that was like anything priced 6.99 or up was marked down to three bucks so of course you know me i took advantage of that <laughs> spent some money but now i have some stuff to show you and some new accessories to kind of sass up my wardrobe um you know, I don't, I don't have a ton of money right now because I'm currently not working, just blogging. <laughs> but I'm looking for a job. If you know of anybody, let me know. <laughs> However, I did um, find a lot of stuff that I thought would, you know, kind of enhance my wardrobe for fall since I'm not really able to buy as many pieces as I normally would. So I wanted to bring in some gold and some silvers. I bought a lot of gold stuff, which is kind of weird for me because normally I don't. But I'm really obsessed. I don't know if you guys can see it really well. With this gold eyeshadow right now from the Urban Decay Vice Palette. It's called Blitz. And I'm obsessed with it and it just makes me want to wear tons of gold accessories. So I bought a lot of gold. But, you know, there's just a few things here and I wanted to show them to you guys real quick and give you a little taste of what I'm interested in right now and I guess, you know, what I can afford right now too. So I thought I would share my little haul and I guess we'll start... Um, first things first, you guys probably saw some of this stuff already because I have a really hard time not using stuff immediately <laughs> like when I get home with a bag of stuff I want to wear it all at once I mean I'm surprised that I don't like start piling it all on and creating like this crazy looks with everything in my bag maybe I'll do that someday that could be really fun like after like a really big shopping trip to just do an entire like I'm gonna wear everything in my haul haul <laughs> but anywho one of the first things I got was I guess I posted pictures of these last week um but I got these cute gloves that have mustaches on them like for real so cute I thought that they were really fun, and they have them in all sorts of colors, which I thought was nice, too. I bought an orange pair from my friend Jamie Jackson, but right hipster cute. I thought that they were fun, and I'm always looking just for cheap little easy gloves, and I can't wear a lot of, like, adult gloves because I have super tiny hands, like, super tiny, but these ones are great. They're just little knit gloves, and they were super cheap, and they came in packs of two, so I got my pink gloves, but then I also just got, like, a plain black pair that will probably cut the fingers off. Because, you know, texting, it gets hard with the mittens sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I really like those. Bought Jamie a pair in orange as well. Um, something else that I got is I'm really into hats right now. Um, especially these, like, n cute little knit beret type caps. And this one's got some sparkle to it, as you can tell, which I really like. It's nice and sparkly. And it's nice and big, which means it can fit over my hair. <laughs> and that's, you know, when you, you're just having those hair days and you're like, man, I don't want to do anything with this. These hats are great. And I really like the sparkly one. So I bought that. And I think it was on sale for $3, which was rad. Um, let's see. What else did I get? I got one of these just cute little, like, car cases or cigarette cases, I guess, if you smoke. I don't, but, you know, whatever. Um, I'll probably just carry credit cards in it, stuff like that. It was also marked down, I think. I think this one was five. It wasn't on that really super sale rack, but it was still cheap. I think it was, like, buy two for $10, so it was $5 each. Um, and I really like this one. You know, animal print, my thing. But I thought it was super cute. Yeah, $5.99, but it, it was, like, a dollar off because I bought Anyway, and one of them is Top Secret. Can't show you. Sorry. Anywho, and then um, Tess also bought me Knight Rider. Whatever. I said her real name. Who cares? Everybody knows my real name Sam. It happens. Um, she bought me these uh, phone carriers, which I thought was really cool. I'm actually, like, I've been using this one, this black and pink one, because it matches my hair, which I thought was pretty nice. 
and you know my, my my iPhone actually fits in there with a case on like it has my polka dotted case on it which is pretty cool so then like you know and it also carries all my cards and stuff don't look at my ID but it carries all my stuff which I thought was rad and it snaps together and it's really easy I thought this was great for the bars <laughs> I've been going out a lot lately, so it's been kind of nice because then you don't have to carry a purse or shove everything in your bra, which is not cute. I do it, but it's not cute. <laughs> um, this is pretty cute, though, and I like—I really like the design, and it was sweet of Knight Rider to buy these for me. She also got me this one that's kind of like a rainbowy print, which I thought was fun, and I'm feeling very youthful and joyful lately, so these kind of youthful accessories are, are fun for me right now, and... I went through this stage in my life where all I bought was like really adult looking like you know like like little diamond earrings and stuff which I'm wearing right now these are like my staple go-to earrings but I went through a stage where I only bought like really expensive jewelry and accessories and then I like realized I don't really have anything and I was wearing the same stuff over and over again and like it's just so much more fun to spend less money on cheap accessories that you know it's not the end of the world if they get ruined it's not really a big deal but they jazz up in certain outfits and it's just fun to play with so even if they're a little like young for my age I really like them but anywho, so that was great. Let's see. Then basically, um, oh, I got these rings. And it spells out wish. And it kind of just, I don't know. I, I thought it was fun. I thought it was super fun. I mean, it's backwards, obviously, on the camera. But W-I-S-H. And, you know, they were extendable, so I could fit them on my little plump sausage fingers. <laughs> but I thought it was just kind of cute. And I don't, like, I, I don't wear a lot of, like, cocktail rings or fashion rings. I mostly just wear my, my ring like, that a Knight Rider gave me, um, but like I just, I just don't. But I thought these were fun, and I kind of like that they spelled it out. And it was kind of like having a knuckle tattoo without having to go through the pain. What do you think? I don't know. So tell me what you think about that. But I thought they were kind of fun, and I've played with them already, so they aren't on the little package thing anymore. But they're on my hand. Enjoy. Wish. <laughs> Anywho. Um, some of the other stuff I got is mostly necklaces. There's not a ton more stuff to go, but mostly necklaces. I found some cute pieces that I liked. I'm really super into crosses right now, which everybody knows. I've been wearing a lot of cross earrings, rosary beads, you know, things like that. I don't know if it's just like this like weird 90s grungy crafty witchy vibe or what but i don't know <laughs> it reminds me totally of like what the costuming was in the craft and i lived for that movie and i totally would dress like a catholic school girl every day if i could so <laughs> i've been buying a lot of crosses anyway this is one of them i got it's just silver studded um i got a gold one too and they were only like a buck like for real but i broke my gold one because i'm a spaz but i got the silver one too and i haven't even used it yet but i did break my gold one <laughs> it happens but I thought it was really cute. Nice long necklace. It'll go It'll go all the way down to my belly button probably. But super cute. Really fun. And totally fit my studded little fascination. And my cross fetish <laughs> apparently. Not really a fetish. But I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Speaking of crosses. I also got these earrings that I wore in my outfit post on Monday. And I just love them. They are heavy duty. They, they aren't heavy enough that they pull your earlobes. But they're pretty heavy for like... For the fact that they were only like two dollars and i dig them and they're silver and it's just it's fun like my other crosses that i have i have some gold betsy johnson ones and i have my just normal black ones that i got from romwe i think that's how you say it romwe um but they are i like these they're heavy duty they're pretty cool and they were fun for that outfit post so already it was like bang for my two dollars totally because they were useful uh, and then i have a few more necklaces um this is one of the gold ones i got this one i think was marked down to three dollars I thought it was really cute though. Like nice little nice nice little details. I'm not I'm using a different camera than I normally do, which is why I'm kinda hazy and why I'm not quite sure where everything's at. But I my camera wasn't charged and I really wanted to do this today before I went to class, so I'm just using my laptop. So sorry for the quality, it's not super great, but you know, oh well, it gets the point across. But anyway, I really am digging these. They're black and they're black and gold, really lightweight, but edgy, edgy and fun, which I like. And it's kind of more if it's a shorter necklace, I can take it out actually. That's a nice shorter necklace. But I thought it would look really cute with a lot of different things. I mean, it doesn't really go with this top, but you know, I digress. Anyway, so that was one of them, and that was three dollars. And then another gold one I got is this one here and I'll just take it out too and put it on put it on because I really dig it and I want to show it off um I thought that this one was super cute it reminded me of a Peter Pan collar which I thought was 
like really sweet and it made me just feel kind of preppy or angel wings i mean it kind of depends on how you look at it but i really liked it and class is a little tight there we go but yeah so i want to wear this with like high neck t-shirts and like kind of make it of a collar look to it or maybe even something really low cut but i just thought it was fun it's chunky and kind of jazzes up things a little bit i think so yeah in case you didn't see it completely kind of comes apart when you open it so there so it's kind of like wings kind of like collar very cool and also like yeah three dollars three bucks really nice um then let's see other one i got this is the last this is the last piece and this is probably my favorite thing that i purchased it was the first thing i saw and this is what got me shopping <laughs> but i'll just take it out too i really love androgyny and I like to give like little, like take an androgynous, take some, take an andro androgynous idea, <laughs> but you can't say that three times fast, <laughs> and give it, you know, this own little sparkle of femininity, and it makes me happy to do that, and it kind of makes me feel like I'm expressing every part of myself that way, and I thought that this was one of the perfect pieces for that, it is a bow tie necklace which Knight Rider wears bow ties all the time and she gets complimented on them so much it drives, drives, me, drives me crazy but I really like this one and I was like oh my god this is the perfect bow tie for the Slayer Siren wardrobe it is sparkly it's fun it was inexpensive I think this is the one item I paid full price on which was nine dollars so full price nine bucks not bad it's a nice choker necklace it totally fits around my neck even though I have a very very thick neck <laughs> But I totally dig it, and I probably will get a ton of wear out of it, just because I think it adds on that little spice of masculinity, but with that sparkle femininity that I like to bring to the table, too. Nice, edgy, super cute, really fun. Basically, that's everything that I got, and I spent under $60, which I think is really good, considering, I mean, it might not have added up. You know, I might have paid full price for one other thing. I might have paid full price for the hat, now that I think about it, and I think it was like 9 too. So... The hat and the bow tie necklace are the only things I paid full price on, and everything else was like two or three dollars, and or or five, two for ten or whatever. And it was really just an inexpensive way for me to jazz things up a little bit, get some of my shopping need taken care of, and you know to just kind of change things up a little bit, which is really important to me. Even when you can't find it necessarily in your budget to completely revamp your wardrobe, you can always revamp your accessories for a low price if you shop at places like Rue Twenty One. So. I just wanted to share that with you guys today and give you a video for the week, and I will be back next week with another video. In the meantime, check out my shopping posts, outfit posts, and a guest post this Friday on Beauty Basics. And, you know, just check out slotosiren.com. I'll put linking under down below, and hope you guys have an awesome day. XOXO!